Hey everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how you can stack XP so that that first night in the first like hour or two, you guys can get the bosses for the rest of the year whenever these new feature programs come out. So you guys do me a favor, as always, make sure to smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You guys also make sure you got notifications on also so you always know when we're live here on the channel and when we post these videos here to the channel, helping you guys do everything the best and fastest and quickest way for everything in MLB The Show 22, all right? Speaking of live streams, man, one of the cool things I've been using during these new live streams or recent live streams here is this awesome light from BenQ. BenQ sent me a uh, monitor light to check out for them and to review. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys a little brief clip and show you how it actually works because I've loved this thing and I think you guys will too. So I've been using this monitor light here from BenQ for a couple of weeks now. And if you see, it just attaches to the back of your monitor. Uh, like right there, it just sets on the back there. It's really cool. I plugged it directly into the USB port on this monitor. So when I turn it on, it's awesome. And it just comes on right there. Uh, my monitor is a little dusty. Sorry. That's the only negative thing I found about this thing, man, is that I noticed I needed to dust a little bit. So if that's all you find that's negative, that's pretty good. But I've actually been moving it back and forth from this monitor to this monitor. I actually kind of prefer it over here while I'm in my workstation and everything. And it's great. Uh, it's not something that I ever thought about really buying or checking out, man. But thanks to BenQ, I don't know how I can honestly live without it now. Uh, it just helps me, uh, you know, my eyes are a little older. I know we have a lot of uh, older crowd maybe that watch the channel and stuff here too. And and uh, it's a little hard for me to see some of this stuff. So reading the chat and all that is a little easier with this BenQ monitor light. It just attaches up under there. It's got lots of different settings uh, to it and you can change the color of the light and the, and the brightness as well. Uh, but I definitely recommend it, man. You guys check them out. The link is in the description below. And uh, BenQ, thanks again, man, for uh, for showing me this. I'm really interested in checking out the, uh, the Halo light as well. That works uh, especially well for curved screens. All right, you guys. So if you're interested in that, you can find the link in the description below. They're available on Amazon. I love this thing, man. I absolutely love it. So I don't know how I could live without it. But here we go. Let's cover this and talk about how you guys can stack this XP. It's pretty cool. If you go into all of these feature programs, you guys know where we find these feature programs, right? here. Uh, we back out and we go into the future programs uh, right here in Diamond Dynasty. And right now this one ends in seven days, but there'll be a ne another one after that. I believe that one's only going to last a couple of weeks. So you're going to want, going to want to be able to get that XP as quick as possible for that. If you guys notice all the ways that you can get XP when you look at this, you scroll all the way to the very bottom, March to October. Have you ever noticed when these programs come out that some people are able to get the card, the bosses within like a first hour, the first hour or two? Well, this is how they're doing it, all right? So here's what you can do. You can actually stack your XP so that you're ready the moment the program drops. So what these guys are doing is they're going into March to October and you know, you notice all of the amounts of XP that you can actually earn when you're playing March to October, all right? So if you're playing on beginner, you can get uh, at the all-star break between five and 9,000 XP. And that's what we wanna pay attention to is this all-star break evaluation. And let me move the camera up here a little bit. I'm sorry. Move it up here out of the way just so you guys can see it. But look at that all-star break eval, all right? And you go look at them here to dynamic, to amateur, uh, minors, rookie. It goes up once you get past the rookie. Uh, so I recommend doing it on rookie or higher. It doesn't really matter. Uh, wherever you're comfortable being successful and actually getting the max amount of XP for yourself, uh, the more successful you are and the better you're doing at the all-star break, that depends on how much XP you're actually going to earn. So pick one of those difficulties, go into March to October. But the great part is you can do more than one March to October. So here's what you're going to do. You're actually going to go into March to October and it says down here in the bottom corner, if you notice more options, so you guys can hit more options there uh, and you can go to either start new or load saved file. You can save multiple versions of these that you already have ready. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into one and uh, you'll play up to that point of the all-star break. And if you don't know where the all-star break is going to be at, go check on the actual schedule because this is the 2022 act or 2022 actual MLB schedule that you're following. So you'll find the date. That way you can keep easy track of it. It's usually going to stop you that game before it because you want to get momentum in March to October and getting momentum going into that final game. It's usually going to make you play that final game. So what you want to do is stop before you get there to the all-star break. Leave that as the only game left you have to play. Once you do that, you can stack multiple ones of these in there. Uh, I believe you can get up to up to 10, if I'm not mistaken, you guys let me know if I'm, if I'm mistaken on that, but I believe it's up to 10 that you can stack in here. Just play them all up to the all-star break, stop and wait. Then you guys go in that day that the program drops, you go in and play 10 games for 10 different March to Octobers. And after every game, you're going to get that large chunk of whatever difficulty you selected for your XP. And that's how you can stack your XP and be prepared the moment the featured programs drop here in MLB The Show 22. 
March to October is a lot different this year. It's changed. It's a little bit more fun. Uh, we'll be doing it here on live stream. You guys make sure to check those out right here. 10 a.m. Central. We're streaming most days right here on YouTube. But this is a great way to be able to do this. This is how people are doing it. This is how everybody's getting those, those bosses that first night. You can make max amount of stubs doing this. Uh, you can make tons of stubs. You get that card early. You pop it in the market. You sell it. And then you can buy it back later when it's a lot cheaper. And you can make a ton of stubs throughout the year doing this. And you'll be able to do this with every program. This doesn't have an end to it. You can do as many of these March to Octobers and start them over as save files throughout the year. So hope this video helps you guys out. Do me a favor, as always, make sure to smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You guys make sure to catch me here for live streams and for videos. Make sure you got those notifications on so you always know when they're posting and when we're live. I hope this helps you out. Do me a favor and uh, have a great rest of your day. Thanks. Peace.